Each of these three items has one thing in common, sapphire. Pure synthetic sapphire is one of the hardest minerals on the planet, usually falling at an eight or a nine on most scale of hardness, right below the hardness level of diamonds. While regular clear glass and clear sapphire might look the same on the outside, they're actually made from entirely different materials. Tissot, a watch manufacturer, uses sapphire instead of glass on their premium watches. This makes sense from a durability perspective because the sapphire will remain scratch free forever unless your watch is coming in contact with diamonds on a regular basis. Of course, glass would be cheaper to manufacture, but it also scratches at a level five or six. Sapphire is much more expensive to make, but its hardness level and scratch resistance makes it very appealing for use in high-end gadgets and electronics. HTC recently released a special deluxe sapphire version of their HTC U Ultra with a sapphire crystal display. This sapphire version of the Ultra is being slowly rolled out to multiple countries at the moment, and somehow Dbrand managed to score me one of the early ones for my tests. So thanks for the pink phone, guys. I appreciate it. If you can overlook a few missing features and a lack of a headphone jack, the HTC U Ultra is actually a pretty good looking phone on the outside. This cosmetic pink finish is rather exquisite. And last but not least, we have the most expensive screen protector in the world from Zag. Costing a mind-blowing 50 US dollars, this Zag screen protector advertises a hybrid glass with real sapphire crystals infused inside of the protector. The box also claims unparalleled scratch protection, so we'll have to see how this holds up. So far, it's feeling and acting a lot like plastic. Today we're going to find out which of these devices are using real quality sapphire and which companies are just taking advantage of the sapphire hype train and using advertising buzzwords to empty the wallets of their unsuspecting customers. One of the easiest ways to tell different minerals apart is by their hardness level. Plastic scratches at a level 3, glass is a 5 or a 6, and sapphire would be an 8 or a 9. Diamonds are the hardest mineral on earth, topping the scale at a level 10. Most scale has been used by geologists and scientists for over 200 years now. I'll go down the line scratching each sapphire object in order with the same tip to see which one scratches first. Already at a level three, we start running into problems with that unmatched scratch protection on the world's most expensive screen protector. Pretty embarrassing. It is very heavily scratched at a level three, just like we would see on any other plastic screen or plastic screen protector. That would cost a few pennies. Very disappointing. You might be better off just taping a $50 bill to the front of your phone and hoping for the best. Last time I checked, Sapphire doesn't catch fire either. Plastic, on the other hand, would catch fire. Not sure why this protector is marketed as a hybrid glass material when it's clearly neither glass nor sapphire. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hey Jerry, isn't false advertising illegal? But before we grab the pitchforks though, I did do an elemental analysis of this screen protector, and I did find trace amounts of aluminum oxide inside of the plastic. So technically, Zag isn't lying about the elemental makeup of the protector. They did toss some aluminum dust into the mix, but it's still pretty darn sketchy advertising in my opinion, and this melted glob of plastic definitely does not live up to the hype on the box. So don't buy this. The levels two and three pick did absolutely nothing to the HTC U Ultra nor the TISO watch. No surprises there. Now levels four and five picks are still relatively soft metals. These are where most razor blades, keys, and coins would fall. Like nickel is a level four, and steel is a 4.5. And still the phone and the watch are unscathed. Normal glass won't start to scratch until level five or six. And if you've watched any of my other videos, the majority of tempered glass smartphones these days will scratch at a six. I did run into a problem a few months ago with the impure sapphire that Apple is using on their camera lenses. This also scratched at a level six. I made a whole video on that subject, which I'll link in the video description. Either way, levels six and seven are where things usually start to get interesting. I honestly had zero expectations for this HTC Ultra. It's incredibly hard to make pure sapphire. Sapphire is actually grown inside of large furnaces. And because of its hardness level and brittleness, the shaping process is very difficult especially when creating larger objects like phone displays. The company that was contracted to make the Sapphire displays for Apple's old iPhone 6 actually went bankrupt trying. So it's impressive that HTC has gotten this far. 
And we can see here that the level 6 and 7 picks did absolutely nothing to the display of the HTCU Ultra Sapphire Edition. Only when we started scratching with the levels 8 and 9 is where we start to see some damage. Both the Sapphire Ultra and the Tissot watch face have started to scratch. It does look like HTC was true to their marketing though, and they use solid quality Sapphire. I am very impressed. The Sapphire Crystal screen of the HTCU Ultra is the most scratch resistant smartphone screen I have ever tested definitely deserves a thumbs up. Keep in mind that not every Ultra is Sapphire. This is a special edition phone that does cost a lot more. So the Tissot watch passes the Sapphire test, and the HTCU Ultra definitely passes as well. But that $50 Sapphire Defense Hybrid Screen Protector from Zag is an overpriced, overhyped, buzzword filled piece of advertising garbage that takes advantage of unsuspecting old ladies who don't know any better. I'm seriously not a fan. You're better off buying a five pack of screen protectors from Amazon for a dollar a piece. I'll link some in the description of this video. If HTC can bring back all the flagship features they dropped from the Ultra and plop a sapphire display on their next flagship phone, they might have an epic winner on their hands. I have my fingers crossed for HTC. If you know someone who could use some real sapphire on their smartphone, or protection from fake sapphire, show them this video. And if you want sapphire on your phone, let me know in the comments. Thanks a ton for watching, I'll see you around.